Kawasaki has pulled out all the stops to show off its revolutionary new motocross machine, or to be more precise, the arrival of injection power on its 450 range for 2009. It's over to Gellerat in Italy to find out more. The latest Kawasaki is a totally redesigned bike. New plastics are there for the look. The seat is narrower, as is the aluminium frame, which is also lighter than before. The foot positioning is a little bit wider to give better stability, with the foot rest growing from 46 to 50 millimeters. It's all done with the aim of providing a more efficient riding position. The engine cover, now synthetic rather than aluminium, is larger to offer better protection, but doesn't add to the weight of the bike. The 450 gets Kayab anti-friction forks and it's all topped off with rental handlebars to provide a standard riding position. The larger silencer meets European noise standards at 94 decibels. It seems that a huge amount of work has been done to incorporate the new injection system, a project Kawasaki has been working on for two years with a year of testing in the Japanese championship and two months of testing in Europe with Sebastian Porcel. It's a change that will force mechanics to learn it all over again. The project's manager explains the principles behind it. Fuel injection, as you know, uh, as you can see, the uh, automobile uh, technology uh, carburetion changes to uh, fuel injection, as you know. And uh, the benefit of fuel injection is better uh, response. And not, not, not only better response, but uh, good engine power char characteristic. You can calibrate uh, the data which is inside of this black box, uh, which is called uh, ECU. And uh, you, as the preference of each rider, uh, you can adjust as you want. In front of ECU, there is a, a KX uh, racing cal uh, fuel injection calibration uh, device and uh, you don't you don't have to take this uh, calibration stuff out of machine just pull it and just plug in the USB USB cable into a computer that's it this is a map uh, just choose some section uh, you would like to change and click it and drag it like this. It's very easy and simple. Well, if changing the setup is simple, it's not actually recommended. For standard use, the map has been carefully designed to suit the majority of riders and can adapt itself to a variety of conditions. Changing the injection mapping only really becomes important after changing a key part like the exhaust. It seems unlikely that motocross riders will all leap to abandon their toolkit in favour of a laptop, but it's a market that could open up for specialist preparers because the possibilities are huge. They can also be used to record data, for example, about how the engine is running or the angle of the fuel entry, and the result on the track is stunning. No more delay in acceleration, power arrives immediately. The power is so progressive that a 450 becomes simple and even enjoyable to ride. The new Kawasaki 450 KXF will certainly seduce some buyers. At launch, the 2009 model is just slightly more expensive at €7,895. Being this easy to ride, it's a real pleasure, and you won't be disappointed.